Hopefully we can get the roots again. That worked out real well last time. The Doggy Detective is the, the most rootsy card in this opener, I think. I'm gonna select that and then get some tunes up. Do you like a portal in this insidious roots? It's a little expensive, huh? Smidge expensive. I'm surprised I was every time I play with this detective card, it always impresses me. Just returns like way more often than you'd think. Am I supposed to grab the One Ring? The issue with like just like a, a card draw spell like One Ring is that with Insidious Roots, you really want like the bulk of your deck to be creatures so that your deck works. <laughs> and the One Ring doesn't really do that. We just passed a Brain Freeze, so someone might, might be real happy about that. I'm just going to grab Overrun Tomb here. I'm just going to try and cut these colors. Does Living Death work for Roots? You would trigger Roots once because it says one or more. You're still filling up the graveyard with creatures, so there might be some redundancy there, but looking at batter ooze here. I think I like ooze better. Like if you just have like four creatures in the graveyard and a roots in play. The news is making a, a four power creature, a three three, a two two, a one one, you know. Not exactly those stats, the one more toughness, but you you get what I mean. It's like good, I think. Powerful enough. Mana Dork. Well, there's a Carnage Interpreter. Yeah, I like this card a lot. It's pretty fucked up. Plays really well in Venge Mines type tiles, style decks, too. Which is what we're aiming for. Hey, the Roots. Perfect. Back-to-back -back root Stips where we actually get the Roots. I'm going to grab Relic here. Kind of does the scavenging use thing. Relic is target player. Another synergy with Relic Progenitus and Vintage Cube is uh, Lelia. You can self-target. Grow your Lelium. How come only one of the tips is listed? There's only so much space! <laughs> we did indeed get the roots. A card that plays really well with Insidious Roots that I didn't really get to pop off with last time is like Squee, because it returns to your hand every turn, so you just get like passive root creation. Hey, thanks for that, Skittles. Hey, Vengevine. Wow, Vengevine and Stitcher Supplier. Fuck, I really want both those cards. Which do y'all think is more important? I think Vengevine. We already have a discard outlet for it. It's Enabler or Payoff, right? And we're going to want to fill the deck with Critters for the Roots. Maybe Souls makes sense. Sentinel's a little better. Haven't played with this card yet. I think Supplier could tail if super lucky. Oh, would it be like the literal last card? I've seen someone self brain freeze with a Roots tank. I don't know if that's like a good thing to be doing or <laughs> Ren also self mills. I'll leave the brain freezing for somebody else. Whoever took the breach can be happy now. Card's kinda fucked up. I think we grab Sylvan Library for the cyborg. Oh, this is the album version. I'm going to skip this. <laughs> this is not nearly as good. What playlist is this? Uh, YouTube autoplay. The playlist. Hey, we got ourselves a Fintorn Elves. That look kind of late, hum. People kill on wondering why I draft Nye all the time. Let's see, second to last pick, Stone Forge, Mystic plus Ren and Six. They call Mens could give us a single trigger from Insidious Roots. Fucking combo. Yes, we got that supplier. 
Living Death gives you exactly one Roots trigger, Rex Cat. Hmm. So the Squee will probably wheel. The question is whether we want Vampiric Tutor, Noble Hierarch, or Time Walk here. It's really enough that Time Walk's not crazy, but it is a splash. So then you're like devoting future picks to supporting a Time Walk that you might not even draft. Versus a card that can make your deck more consistent, like the Noble or the Vamp here. I think I'm feeling the Noble. Not really a Mana Vault deck. Or a Berserk deck either. Or a Reclaimer deck. It's like Dismember for the Cyborg or the Zagoth Triome. Ideally, Ganond. I think I'm taking Triome here, which is kind of mopey. Reclaim it to for Bizarre. I think that's too slow. Indy's good if we end up playing red. Alright. I'm going to take Grist over Pack Rat. Grist is real strong. Between the self mill and the removal and being a creature in the graveyard and just everything. Marsh Flats here. Oh no, Fauna Shaman, right? Yeah, Lumberjack's interesting too if we are playing red. I'm not 100% that we are, but... Yeah, last time I drafted this style of deck, Fauna Shaman really overperformed. Blood Tithe would be another discard outlet. I kind of like Bone Shards. Maybe once upon a time. Bone Shards is another way to sack the supplier too, so it's not just a discard outlet. It works in multiple ways here. Endurance is a free critter, it's not the worst. Mazawas would be a fine sideboard card, as would Terra Sunder. I'm thinking about Copperline Gorge for Inti. I don't know how serious I am about this Inti, right? It's a little a little random as just an Inti right now. I might try and keep it black-green, right? Corpse Dance triggers roots, yeah, but it's just the one time. Speaking of good mana... My shitters do stuff. Oh, my shitters are already going to do stuff. Oh, man. Verdant Catacombs and Anger. Anger's, like, really good in this style of deck. But so is the Verdant Catacombs in your, in your green-black, like, heavy, intensive mana cost deck. Fuck it. Let's go. And then the fixing we want for Anger, we want to be mountains. Because it doesn't work without a mountain. So stuff like Raging Ravine isn't even exciting. Reclaimer finds a fucking mountain. We lumberjack in. Maybe. Once upon a time helps a little bit. No, Yogmoth. We are trying to eat. Emphasize creatures with a Insidious Roots Vengevine Dang. The stip is Insidious Roots. Not become immense. Does Astral Dragon have a combo in this cube? Uh, technically. I think I want this Arid Mesa just in case I get a red duel. So I didn't have like only really taps for the Grist and the Ren. Not a great fixer. I guess the NT Splash. Really not a good Urza Saga deck. I don't like Black Leap Cliffs for the reasons I listed earlier. I'm going to take Faithless Looting here. Plays well with that Squee at the very least. I'm going to grab Birds of Paradise out of this pack. And then hopefully the Survival comes back to me. Gross pack. Well, Liliana plus Squee is kind of cute. It can trigger the roots every turn that way. Yeah, we're missing the Taiga, huh? We're missing that Taiga nonsense. Wall is good. But right now our mana is pretty sketch. Need some duels for the Aired Mesa to grab, whether it's Badlands or Taiga. And then I like this red splash a lot better. Death Rites for the Roots. We have a lot of ways of exiling stuff from our graveyard. Death Rites is like a way shittier way of doing that than like activating Scavenging Ooze or something, right? Kind of worried about the deck functioning instead of like more roots triggers currently. 
I think I like Jenner Scent over the Bazaar here. I don't think we have quite enough for Bazaar for it to be a priority pick. And the ends help our mana, Ryan, by tutoring up the Overrun Tomb. This is between Gourmet Gangler and Tireless Trekker. Gourmet could be a cheap critter for Vengevine and such. You're only going to get one Roots trigger out of it. I'll try it. Well, there's a Swamp Mountain. Can't get it with Ent, but can get it with Arid Mace at least. Not what I was looking for, but that's okay. Another fucking comes to play Tapland. Our curve's gonna be so slow. That's one of the big issues with just there just being like so many comes to play tap lands. And like the cycle creatures are also basically comes to play tap lands. That your your decks that don't have a bunch of power just end up being way slow. Which is rough, having to choose between like bad mana or being too slow to actually play a game. Hey, survival wield, that's awesome. I think the things that I would consider doing are either adding paint lands or, um, which is rough because there's already horizon lands in there, or just two sets of duels. Having more than one set of dual lands relieves like a ton of pressure because the way that it currently is like even if you're the only like for example a uh, green black drafter the bio might just not get opened you might just get like variants into bad mana just by like calling your cutting your colors appropriately and stuff i have to play a pile of fucking comes to play tap lands and you deck that can't afford the tempo slow the loss in tempo That was one of the things that I really liked about um, Caleb Gannon's cube. Was that he just included like three sets of the good dual lands. Real pleasant drafting experience. Super fun. It can be Dreadmang. Having to pick between lands and whatnot is sometimes interesting, yeah. It also just might mean that you repeatedly have to choose between good mana or a functional deck. While getting to do the cool thing. Or, like I said earlier, getting variants into a bad mana base. Like, this mana base is functional, but it's also just too slow for Vintage Cube. And, like, if you draft three fixers, your mana base probably shouldn't be too slow for Vintage Cube in Vintage Cube. That's the, that's the, that's the man, those are the lands that have been put into this cube to be played against other decks in this cube, right? Taking the tempo hit for a try land while your opponent goes like mox two drop, and then you just get to lose, right? One of the, historically one of the ways that like green decks could um, keep up tempo is going like turn one, forest mana dork. And even though they don't have like a ton of power, that was like the one thing that they could do. But it's like not really the case here. For your lands are coming to play tamped. Too slow. But, as always, that's like my personal preference, right? My personal preference is to have good mana. Unless it comes to play tapped stuff. Obviously, people can curate cubes towards different experiences. You feel like having free good mana can be bad? Cool. Thanks for sharing your feelings. <laughs> The free good mana is also in here already, right? You're just not getting it reliably. Like, there's still the good duels in here. This is a chance it like literally doesn't uh, show up in your draft. Uneven. So this is like nine green sources. Kind of like barely enough because we never got a Taiga for the Mesa. 
You think all the tap lands has helped aggro by slowing down opponents? Well, this is an aggro deck, and this deck is incredibly slowed down by it. So I agree with you about, like, mono red or mono white is improved. I also don't think those archetypes, like, needed help. This is only four red sources. Because the end can't grit on a red duel. Yeah, this might, this might still just be bad. This is 10 black sources, though. And we do have Birds of Paradise there. That helps a lot. Yeah, I'd personally prefer one or the other in Palo. And in my experience drafting vintage cubes, as I said, like I gave you an example of this. The cubes that just let you play with multiple dual lands have been really pleasant. Fun! I've enjoyed them much more. It's okay to prefer a different cube experience, but it's not really a counter-argument to me saying that I prefer that. It's been a lot more pleasant. Yeah, I'm sure you're not alone, Dreadmang. I also didn't ask. <laughs> we got like 10 blank sources here. How many, how low can we go? Eight? Eight with Liliana there? The Carnage Interpreter can use red too, so that helps a little bit. And then we go up to six red sources, which is not really enough for the turn one l Lumberjack, but it's probably enough for like the looting and the Inteen and the Splashed Anger. Lumberjack's kind of sweet with the anger in the bin. Like a hasty Lumberjack could be really cool with the survival. I kind of want to leave it in, even though like we don't quite have enough red for it. The green was barely enough, right? We're at like nine green sources. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't count Arid Mesa. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like eight-ish right now. Eight plus the Once Upon a Time. Yeah, the Once Upon a Time helps. The Birds helps, the Once Upon a Time helps. But this is as low as we can go on green sources. In an ideal world, we'd have like one more even. All right, let's give it a shot. I'll stop moping. Stop moping and play some games. Hopefully this once upon a time can find me an untapped green source. So I can go turn one dork, turn two, survival activate. Because the sand's way better <laughs> if we get to do that. Hey. And the ant cannot grab a red source. Oh, sick. Just fucking working out. I'm going to discard the Vengevine and I th uh, find Walla, but then I think the Walla wants to find Orcish Lumberjack. And we can, like, get an Anger and a big burst of mana. May just have, may just have like, the sickest turn next turn. Or I can just draw the Lumberjack, I guess. So now I'm thinking about what do I want the anger to grab, right? Maybe get Squee down? Or get Squee in the bin? I don't think I can Carnage Interpreter this turn. Oh, yeah, I can. The Orcish Lumberjack can make triple red. I don't really have the green mana for that, though. I guess I could bin in to get another forest. And then I just, like, lose the rest of my hand. Do I like a hasty Carnage Interpreter here? I would go Lumberjank, Sack Forest, Bin Generousent, get another Forest, and then just play it. And then I would lose the Gourmet Angler and the Urborg, and just continue on without any black mana. Oh, I wanted to get Squee. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, fuck it. Give me the Squee.
Haste to use isn't crazy. Indy would be great if we had a red, but we don't. Bridge of Paradise isn't crazy. I can't play Anger, right? Three mana, four, five. No, I don't want to do that. Could just play Grist. Yeah, maybe Grist is sick. Could just kill the Hex Drinker. Yeah, let's do that. And then the next turn we can bend the end for another forest for the Lumberjack if we need it. I don't need tutoring up a Bridge of Paradise either. Necromancy? <laughs> You're handing me my anger? That's hilarious. The knight gets to clear the grist here, sure. No disenchant effect for that necromancy, right? I don't see one. Oh, it no longer has haste, right? Because I lost the anger. I was gonna get Fauna Shaman, but maybe I should be getting the ooze. If they showed Necromancy, huh? Right, quite a spike. Yeah, speaking of uh Caleb Gannon's cube, that was something I that I always really enjoyed about his There aren't just like cards floating. All the cards have like multiple synergies and Interesting things you can do with them. Everything's supported. Led to a lot of like really creative decks every time, and you would never really have a, the same deck twice. Or rarely. I think like, I like leaving Ooze up for now. Necromancy on Anger is hilarious. It really is, yeah. They did it. They got to clear my Grist and remove my Anger, which is pretty good, because like the next turn, they, the Gurmang Anger would have had haste, and then this Carnage, this Carnage would have had haste, too. Oh, damn! We got that Tony Scapone raid. Sup, Tony? Were you jamming something awesome in Legacy? Some real quality non-Legacy combo. Yeah, if y'all aren't following Tony, yeah, I'll get a shout out. Oh, thanks, Workshops. Appreciate it. Real cool Legacy streamer and brewer. I actually discovered his stream when I was looking for folks to raid. I was like, this looks cool. <laughs> Then I became a lot more familiar with his decks afterwards. So they're forcing me to exile my Venge Vine. Better than them getting it, hum. Not bad. Yeah, we saw a survival pop off. How much harder would that have popped off if we had Insidious Roots, though? Cut down wouldn't be crazy. Both uh, animation spells that we saw from them, Necromancy and Animate Dead, were enchantments. 
So we could consider Terra Sunder and we could consider Relic. Popping Relic's obviously awkward with our deck, but it could also, you know, trigger Insidious Roots. Or we could just activate once per turn. It doesn't seem like a matchup where I want Liliana of the Veil. Just thinking if I want this Relic or not. I like that we can tutor for the Ooze. Makes me like it a lot better than the Relic. Could cut Ren here. It's just like self billing or whatever. Bring Survival back to Legacy. I think I'm coming around on Survival back in Legacy. That might be a cool one to pull for Twitter. I think most Legacy players are ready for Survival to come back. It, the the power level in Legacy is such right now that I think Survival would still be playable, but I don't think it would be Tier 1, actually. Well, I think it would be good, but not dominant. Doomsday Dex just, like, straight Merc and you on turn 2, that sort of thing. What about Glimpse and Modern? I think Glimpse and Modern is pretty sketch. Especially after they just banned Fury. Orcs are still good against it, but... Man, what a powerful card. Oh yeah, I'm still thinking about this Relic, that's right. I'll try and... I kind of hate it, but I'll try it. You want Pod back? Yeah, I didn't understand when, uh, the Pod ban when it happened. That was very weird to beam. I also tested Pod semi-recently with Aspiring Spike, and it felt super fine. <laughs> totally safe. Like we tried it in Yogg, and then we tried a more uh, classic, like Kiki Pod chain, and neither felt. Both like led to like interesting games and didn't feel overpowered or anything. It's a good thing this hand didn't have a one drop. Or I'd be QQing again. <laughs> yeah, I think we just Souls of Lost and discard a land, hum. If we crack a fetch, we can play it as a 2 3. But then we have to fetch out a basic mountain. So I have another black source. Probably fine. Discard the squee I'm about to draw. I don't want to draw a squee. Whatever it's supposed to be in the mountain name. If I just slam Carnage Interpreter next turn, the souls gets huge. <laughs> I don't think it's good, but. Like, I think I'm supposed to Grist Uptake. Uh, I think that deck went 2-1, and one, King of North. I think they're going to sack the Harvester in their second main. If they don't have a trick here. Or maybe they just want the Treasure Token. Yeah, two and one with that Nia deck, and uh, I almost threw more games. I was playing pretty sloppy. Not my best. Okay. Why didn't they do that before they tanked? They need the treasure. Oh, they hard cast it. Right, right, right. But they still could have done it before I declared a blocker, right? Well, let's see if Carnage Interpreter could do a little something, something here for me. Oh, I don't. I don't think they wanted to crank the sword, the blood tithe. Could play an untapped land. I was planning on playing the Overrun Tomb, but I think I'm gonna play an untapped land so I don't have to exile both my critters, or either of them rather. Five five's kind of large. I 
Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Mr. Hyde. Thanks for 43 months there. Mr. Hyde obeyed the stream title and has gotten in here. Hell yeah. You better believe I'm blocking. I might still not be playing this over on Tomb. So I can play Carnage Interpreter plus crack a clue without having to shock. Gross. They had a troll on top. Double checking to make sure I don't have any double black cards. Yeah, it's just Liliana. I think we boarded Liliana out. Let's go to Carnage here. I kind of love this card. It's like Rotting Regisar, but good. Menace plus draw four cards on it. Tied up on life total, but they do have a Mana Crypt. Kind of makes me feel like attacking them and not running six. All right, FSM, what you got? Kind of feels like they ripped a Necromancy and they're deciding the target. Cracking that blood. Let's see if we can top deck that uh, that disenchant that I boarded in, huh? That'd be a clean answer to this animate dead. I think they're gonna get to draw with Palantir now. I guess I can draw first. The Mana Crypt with feeling like I might need some help from that Mana Crypt, Tom. Oh, they just have the win. Yeah, this creature has got Menace and then this one, you know. Better Menace. Holy, well, yeah, that would have been good that game. I think I'm going to cut the Relic. Yeah, the end ping was nine. Is what I had. That was my math. Doesn't really matter if it was correct or not. They had a fucking dragon. <laughs> yeah, I think the Edict on Liliana might be hot. Oh, I'm going to be streaming on my birthday. I think that's the Monday. I think that's the Monday that I get back from the con. And Vintage Cube's going to be around. That's going to be sweet. Maybe I'll do a longer stream. Birthday streams are usually pretty fun. We have survival, but we only have one green source. But I guess we can tutor up that stupid Ent and get another forest. <laughs> oh, thanks, can I win? <laughs> this is by Lettuce. What con? The Midwest Gaming Classic. Well, that's a lot of fast mana. Five goddamn mana. Chariot. I'm a little bit worried about binning Vengevine and then them animate deading it. I might bin Fauna Shaman instead. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a fucking ant in the graveyard anyway. <laughs> I would rather they reanimate that one, though. We can fucking still cheat our Vengevine out, then. I think they would prefer to take my Vengevine elevation. Because it's denying me a 4-3 while giving themselves a 4-3. Whereas if they take the end, they're not denying me anything. 8 power swing versus 5. So we discard Rootwalla and then cast something. I kind of want to get Ooze rolling. Wouldn't have the mana to activate it, though. Let's go get Squeam. And then I'm considering this Souls of the Lost instead of the Dog and Detective this turn. No! Well, whatever. <laughs> I didn't want that Binge Vine anyway. That's not why I specifically sculpted my turn around playing two creatures. Who would want that? Who would want a Benjamin in play? Certainly not me. One of, one of those punts that just like can't happen in paper. Hey, Mr. Fluff and stuff. Thanks for the $6.66. You had a good Bonzo track for a nice evening. Cool. I'll check that out. What happened? I clicked no instead of yes. Just a misclick. The manual dexterity test. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think if you block the cat token, it's unlikely they have a way of killing off the souls. An extra revenge mine there, and then like the cat token doesn't really get to attack in. Or like you can put the benchmine in front of the chariot. Make sure the soul sticks around. I have been probidden. Clicking through attack. Yeah, I don't do that very often. But it certainly happens. Six mana seems like a lot. Pyrokinesis, sure. about ooze versus a mana dork versus anger once again wouldn't have the mana to activate ooze this turn maybe I want an angler here Exile in the end means they can't animate it. Think about attacking all. They have 8 damage on board. I'm at 14. Yeah, they're the ones with the mana crypt, right? Oh my god, Heliore. <laughs> Why would you speak that evil into the universe? <laughs> I actually liked that last tune a lot by Arcade Fire. That's the second Arcade Fire track I've added. I might just like that band. I think I've only heard Arcade Fire like randomly from like um, from uh, YouTube recommendations, and I've only heard about them in popular culture with people like mocking them. <laughs> so we're <laughs> mocking the the sort of person that listens to them. Mm. But that's not going to stop me from enjoying something. 
Let's see what Mr. Fluff and Stuff wants to listen to. Zeppelin, the ocean. Oh, you've had a similar experience as this joint roller? I think that track was called Reflector Chroma. Oh, they did jump with the cat token. Inti's kind of hot here, right? Give the Grimming Angler Trample. Oh no, we want Carnage, because Carnage takes multiple blockers. Although this would be six Trample, so they would need to block with Carry Tid and Cat. Yeah, adding, adding another creature they need to double block is better. Oh, but the Inti would have haste. I think this is still just better. Y'all can, can tell I'm very confident here. Sick. Yeah, stapling haste onto this card is pretty messed up. So it looks like we won both of our survival games. Still haven't seen roots yet. Through no fault of my own. Cool thing about our last roots deck is that we had demonic tutor and like find it a little bit more often. We still ended up playing against a control deck that countered it <laughs> two games in a row. Paying me money to do my job? How dare you? How how would I survive? Please don't donate for this fun step over and over. That would be the worst. <laughs> I want the mountain because we don't currently have a mountain, but I also want this carnage interpreter because we're also like mana heavy. Just hope this works out, huh? When was the last root stack? Yesterday. Put in, got some nice Naya going. That Mother Runes might be a headache. And they're leaving two man up for a little something something. Just fetch so I couldn't play souls. What is with me today, hum? I was like, if I crack a fetch, then the souls will get plus one power and toughness. One more permanent in the graveyard. What a good fucking idea. Yeah, earlier I was complaining about lands time walking me, and here I'm just like voluntarily time walking myself. Hmm. Just swarming up <laughs> on the second draft of the day. <laughs> Souls isn't bad into Carnage Interpreter. Just helping me dump my hand real quick, like. Much better than an actual Tarmogoyf would be here, right? Actually, Goyf would be a 4-5, and it's a 5-6. Am I dead? I am dead looking. Yep. 10... Plenty. Cut down's coming in for sure. Early game removal spell. I think Liliana's gonna stay in. No anti natural order tech here. We can natural order for our Jenner scent. Maybe we'll cut Ooze. Ooze is another card with roots though. Maybe I like it. Oh, let's cut Ren and Realm Breaker. 
That card sucks. Am I taking Summer Quests? You better believe I am. Our man is good here, which makes me not want to mulligan. But I don't think this hand's good against their deck. So I'm going to mulligan. Maybe find a survival or a roots or something. So then learn where our deck is actually doing the thing. Oh, much better, huh? We can bid a mountain once upon a time. At least we're, like, accelerating. Still need to accelerate into something, but... One Uat, please. A bucket list thing that I haven't done is put a once upon a time on the stack and then respond with Brainstorm. Just bottom the roots. We have some shovel effects though. Get it back in the deck. I wanna be your what man? Your back tour man? You got a specific old... <laughs> it's just like one person for that. Well then yeah, I guess we're gonna cut down this double high rank. All right, let's play Rotten and Ginger Song Request here. Some Red Fang, hell yeah. I don't think there's a single meme that could do that for a ultimate price, I'm sorry. Bam, you burnt. How many forests are just five sevens? The ant has been voted off the island. I do really like the Skylands, for the record. Like, that was pleasant as hell, huh? And sometimes they'll let you keep land light hands because they really surveil them. At least they let me do it. <laughs> so we just need to rip like an anger here or something. Or they can break one more turn for me. Hmm. Well, Grist off the top could be hot. Or Liliana. Good evening, JP. Wait, if I double mill, then they have to chump with the Intrepid.
I was thinking that I wanted to keep Fauna Shaman into another creature, because then I can like get things rolling again, but just making them chump is pretty good. If you attack with the elf, they can block with the intrepid. And then they would live at one and have intrepid in place still. So I think it's worse than just attacking with the use. Yeah, lifelink. Here I should have tapped Brutes for the bench mine and gotten in with it, but yeah, here here it actually super mattered, right? Because <laughs> now they can block this and take six instead of taking seven, <laughs> just like a gratuitous mistapping. Not the first time I've done that today. Just tapped poorly. Got all excited about my draw. Turn the brain off. I don't think it's gonna matter, but don't need to give them an extra turn, right? Watch them play some sweeper and draw the game out. Well, that game still went a lot better than the first one. Let's do that again. Sunfall, yeah, Sunfall or the or the the path that you can overload. Both would have been real nasty. <laughs> yeah, right. T golf balls. That's the um, the mental shortcut, right? Is to leave the birds up. Like I arena auto tappered myself. This one can tap for so much more. Think about become immense and Sylvan Library. Maybe just become immense. Could cheese a race. Maybe cut Lily on the draw. Kind of seems like the opponent's dumping their hand pretty quickly. Lilia Edict on the play is maybe fast enough. And this Arid Mesa cannot get a green source, right? It can only get a Xander's Lounge or a Mountain. Could be an issue. Let's see what this Once Upon a Time finds me. Yeah, not getting a black source for a removal spell or uh, potentially a mana dork to help the survival kick off. I think we're just grabbing another forest, Tom. Then End can go get Overgrown Tomb, and this is my turn. Kind of feels like a game we're going to lose to our mana base here. But we'll see. Oh, ship it up. Hey, Mix and Go. Thanks for 47 months. Almost four years. The voices in your head reminding me to use the Twitch Prime subscription from Amazon Prime to sub to Caleb. Hell yeah. What if I just run out this dog at Detective? Hey, Schwab, 002. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 73 months. Hey, Charlize TV, things are 25 months there. Yeah, they don't want to attack with the adversary because we just block, they activate, and then I can untap and kill their mother. I'm not sure what the word green means in that context, logic. Like what you think the non greed line would be. Greed's becoming the new tempo. Where it just gets to like mad libs into sentences. Well, that's bad for me.
and they got Cradle up. So if they have like Natural Order or Hoof, they just get to win next turn. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand why you would think that one of those lines is more risky than the other. Logic is the thing. Like, I, like I don't understand your reasoning. Is what I'm trying to communicate to you. Hmm. Is this the first Roots played this run? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> we got another match after this, though. Now we have enough mana where if we drew a creature, survival could do something, but I think we're just going to die to Crater Hoof here, is the vibes I'm getting from this game. Feels like a hoof game. Oh shit, not this turn though. Maybe we got a little bit of time. Whiffed on a critter. Yeah, I just don't understand the connection with risk assessment, Glock. Why is that line less risky? Is what I'm getting at. I am a big fan of this draw for the opponent. Hmm. Anger into Carnage? And then now we can actually clock them. Ruwala. I kind of like leaving the Ruwala in the deck. Because if the Vengevine dies, then the Walla is a clean way to get it back. With just, like, um, the Squee to discard, right? Whereas I don't think it matters on this board currently. Hey, Mr. Fluff and Stuff thinks the $6.66. Do not apologize for taking over. I'm excited to hear Kirby Green Green's remix. Check this out. Hope you're well too, Mr. Fluff and Stuff. Appreciate you supporting. Bartaboos, thanks for getting a Sobdic Grilled Cheese MTG. If they block to take care of the Carnage, then Hoof is no longer a top deck to kill me. So instead, they're going to eat the 9 damage and give themselves another turn to rip the Hoof, which is what I would do in their spot. You could uh, get a free block on Vengevine, since I'm tapped out here, and be at 14 instead of 10. But I don't think training with the Carnage is correct. And this might be the last turn for them to get a nice Hoof in. Because otherwise they're going to have to start blocking stuff, I think. Where's PJL going? I think Ooze or Carnage could make sense. Hitting the Carnage, sure.
Yeah, it's a great card because now they got two cards towards hoof. While lowering my pressure. Ooh, the detective rebuy. Imagine if I had the roots out doing all this, right? We have so many fucking plants. Inti pumping ooze could be hot. Just like a big old fucking trampling ooze. Is pumping ooze better than pumping gourmet gangler? And do I want a walla here? How many creatures do I have in the graveyard? One, two, three, four currently. But we'd get another one from the anti discard. Okay, so more than I could put into the ooze. The ooze could be a nine nine. That's like more than they can block, right? One, two, three, four, eight, yeah. What if I got Lumberjank? Does that let me do more? Feels like it does. And I need to keep a card in hand for the for the discard. And I could like discard the birds, go get Grooming Angler, play Grooming Angler, crack a clue, but I think just growing the ooze is better. And I think I'm gonna attack with the NT too, just like make them block with more. I've run into Howling Giant fans that are familiar with the the song, but have never seen the stream sheep. Kind of fun. Oh, I can't activate it. The use five times because the Xander's Lounge doesn't do that. Well, shit. I thought I was gonna make them at least like block the use with something here, but that's not quite it. Not the palace dealer in front of the NT. Like they're not even killing the NT here. But I think we're succeeding in getting to a spot where um, where Crater Hope is no longer lethal. Oh, shoot up. Hey, Champion IRL. Thanks for the sob. Thanks for the 35 months. How good is this anger, huh? I feel like it's been sweet. We have a lot of clues. Yeah, we got a clue or two. I can't wait to play Carnage Tyrant in a deck with uh, Academy. Bye, Ooze. Survival in Inti. That feels real. Oh, I only have nine cards left over here. That's troubling. <laughs> Kind of digging around looking for that plus six plus six card, huh? 
I don't know how much it's worth finagling with. We do have this lumberjack, right? So we could like bin supplier, bin noble hierarch, flip another couple cards off. What's the opposite of clueless? Uh, Caleb. Hey, there's the become immense. And I could grist down tick before serving here, but then I would not, um, wouldn't have the mana to pump Walla. I wonder if that's better. Gris down tick on Mother of Runes. Now nah, let's get in. On Solitude with the Grist? No, they would give it pro green or black with the Mother of Runes. Yeah, that's the idea, Dragonheart. That's <laughs> what I've been giving, digging for. The Inti gives Trample. But that's why I was spent this turn decking myself so that I could uh, have the win, right? Yeah, right, man. I like it a lot, too. So the Carnage could be 11 Menace, or the Gourmet Gangler could be 12 Trample. Both seem great. The pump spells are pretty good, Jekolo. Terrifying. I think Birds of Paradise was my best grab here. Urborg lets me play Liliana, but survival is pretty green intensive. I think I grab Int here and then go get Overgrown Tomb with it and then don't have double black for Lily on time is the plan. Great plan, right? <laughs> Howling Giant Tigward does this cover. The same band that played my theme song a couple tracks ago. They have a sick uh, Sabbath cover, too. The Lumberjack's mighty tempting, but I'm just going to play Survival here. Rude. Oh, never I'm supposed to play Survival and Lumberjack there instead of Survival plus Activate. I think I'm going to bin the ooze and go get uh, Squee, I guess. Maybe Anger for the Lumberjack. I don't really want to sack a Forest currently, but... I mean, I'll just grab Vine for now. If I can fit Squeen in my next turn. Kind of an interesting spot. <clears throat> Into chilling on a counter spell over there, wondering if Lumberjack's worth. Absolutely, Clint. 
Glad you're enjoying the stream. Is Inti sexy? Could just grab Squeam and play Fauna Shaman Walla here. I think I like. I think I dig in team. Look at me clicking yes on Vengevine. Kind of grab a like grabbing Gourmet Gangler, so it's all hasty and stuff next turn. I could grab Squee here, but we bolt in a vine, bolt in the lumberjack. Sure, I've had many a vine bolted over the years. Why is it OP? You're getting free loot while also pumping your creatures. It's like a two mana Lilia in a lot of respects. It also has sweet synergies with the other discard cards, right? Like last game, I was using it as a draw engine with survival activations. Fucking nuts, huh? <clears throat> hmm. What's the play? What's the play? How much fodder do we have than graveyard? Five. I was kind of open for another lane drop there, but don't hate Angler resolving. Oh, am I just getting twinned? That's frustrating. I wonder if I'd just gone to combat, if they would have deceiver tapped, then we could have killed something. Well, they're drawn with library. Maybe they don't quite have it yet. Still haven't had a roots game, huh? The one game we played it played it, it got blown up. All these sweet survival games though. You ever draft a deck so bad you just drop and don't play it? Very rarely. I think like once lifetime. Feels like deja vu. Yeah, it's deja vu all over again. I guess we could try and resolve Inti first, and then run into like spell pierce and daze and such. We get the discard value. Maybe get a better land off the top. This is another twin piece. Keep boarding this right out. Just like in double block and take seven. They can double block and take ten. Yeah, they jump the bench line there, they take less. <laughs> they, take, they take less damage. Probably what I would have done. It's cut down good against twin. It is. It is minus Ren. I think that should have been the main deck swap. I was thinking the self mill off Ren could have been good here. But yeah, cut down's better. Terra Sunder is technically another instant speed uh, removal spell, but it's really clunky, right? Four mana to actually kill something if they're on Kiki Jiki. 
I'm a little bit more excited about it if we actually see Splinter Twin. I think I'm going to take a quick uh, bathroom break here. I'll be back in a minute. All right, all right, all right. Oh, looks like I didn't manage it to make it back in time to cement. That's fine. This hand looks good, right? Oh, the fucking Arid Mesa can't get a green source. <laughs> I think it actually only has, like, one more mountain to grab, too. There might be four mountains. Yeah, we got four mountains. It's got two other mountains to grab, I guess. But yeah, the idea behind keeping is that, like, this Faithless Looting has to do a little bit of work here for us. Maybe a Detective on two. That can help, too. Leave a green source on top, why not? Back to back library games. Vengevine would be a sick rip. A lot of times when you're playing a survival deck, you want to like sandbag a creature, but with Squee in hand, we don't have to do that. Yeah, don't love the amount of pressure we have going on right now. It's not a lot. We can return Squee next turn. Flashback looting. Ooh, Indy's kind of good. Inti does only let me look at one more card, though, whereas Faithless Looting would let me look at two. Just thinking in terms of, like, finding a removal spell. Not that there's a lot in my deck. Sick. <laughs> if I'd flashback the Faithless Looting, I wouldn't have mana for Liliana. <laughs> Yeah, those concerts was terrifying. Because, you know, it's a twin piece. You know, so a Splinter Twin or a Kiki Jiki would just be a win. Liliana well, Optic seems to be with Inti in play, too. I think I like Uptick Lily bin this Arid Mesa. So I can stop worrying about my number of fetchables left. Soul Cauldron's interesting. I think it's in their deck because they want another... Um... A backup for, like, Kiki Jiki, right? If it gets answered by the opponent. But it's pretty good here is Graveyard Hate. Yeah, I'm gonna leave with the Lily Uptank. And now the opponent's well below Library. Oh, no. I meant to Bone Shards before attacking. Um... Okay, this wasn't the worst. Ooze can potentially interfere with Soul Cauldroning. Probably could have sequenced that to get like one more land off the end team. I think the opponent's about to draw a card, and that's why they were trying to exile the 2 1 with the Soul Cauldron first. Roots tech, not an anti-dank. We just haven't seen Roots as often as Alm. 
Roots would have gotten me a lot of value in pretty much all of our games. We just only got to cast it the one time and it got immediately blown up. Should we be casting Anger? <laughs> I feel like discarding it. So if I had one more creature in the graveyard, it would work a lot better here because then I could ooze and then still activate Root Walla. I think I just want to pump Walla and put them to one. If I use all the anger, then the Roots no longer have haste and I can't pump the Walla is the issue. One lousy damage. <laughs> Wonder where I missed a point. Maybe the Faith is Looting flashback turn, where I didn't get to play a green source off of it. This is a dig through time. It is. Well, they've gone through a whole lot of their deck here. The question is, can they prevent me from, uh, can they win or prevent me from killing them? I think Deceiver Exarch plus Kiki Jiki wins, but they need, um, Another land and splitting twin would not win. One point of damage. So close. Could I have scoozed a creature from their graveyard? Scoozing a creature from their graveyard does not give me a plant token. It takes a green mana. Bone shards pre attack have done it. Yeah, yeah. That was just a misclick, though. That wasn't like a strategic blunder. I just like clicked into a tank sooner than I thought. So you need a cryptic tap here. I think I'd rather get the empty trigger than edict to this goblin that doesn't matter. If we mill two creatures, we get to win? What are you talking about? Well, we have lethal on board right now. I don't think milling creatures does anything to beat a cryptic tap here. Could also uptick here. Oh, she went up. Hey, Dr. Teaser, thinks of the sub. Yeah, the deceiver taps something and this blocks something that only accounts for three. Dr. Teaser Pantalones with the Prime. What a great name. I should have saved that to discard in team. So the Cryptic here, I think, needed to bounce either Ooze or Insidious Roots. Instead of drawing a card. Maybe their best chance of winning is still just doing it this way and hoping that I whiff or miss the line. But this wasn't necessarily lethal. If they gave me any credit for seeing it. Oh, they don't have haste. We don't have anger anymore. We just made some critters. Wow. Yeah. Well, their line makes sense. It's a good sign as the green mana dork deck when your opponent's looting away Inferno Titans. Hey, Bert, thinks the 53 months there. Cool. Insidious Roots. 
And we actually got some roots triggers at the end there. That's pretty sweet, right? Oh, she rolled up. Hey, Vitix, thanks for gifting a sub. Congratulations to Drachneem. Hell yeah. What do I think of this vintage cube? I've been